Hey, y'all. I'm Jeremiah Nickel from uh, JF Productions, Kansas City Sound Solution. And I uh, promised I was going to get you some video of this thing. Uh, it's only fair because I think uh, once you see it in action, you'll appreciate it like I have. Uh, this is a Tracoman spin head. The company uh, is formerly Comor, or no, is now Comor, I should say. Uh, to my knowledge, this is more of a European design uh, in the fact that the rotation of the base is 360 degrees and the rotation of this mirror up here is also 360 degrees and the key is it's continuous. It's not 540 and whatever the other angle is for the top of, uh, if you have a regular moving head. This thing can spin all night long, 360 degrees. I'll just show you what it looks like. You, first channel, uh, channel one on my slider here, is, is just controlling the pan. Now you notice it'll go around like 580 degrees like both lights. So I'll show you the continuous rotation in a minute. Now if you look up here, let me get it to where it's a good angle for you. This is the mirror. It operates more like a scanner than, a, than anything else. And you'll see that that mirror will rotate close to 360 degrees when you just do the tilt by itself. Here's where it gets interesting. Channel three is your direction for your pan and how fast it spins. So right now my hands are off the board. This will just continue to rotate at that speed. Okay, vice versa, it goes the other way. If I put the value all the way up, it'll spin in that direction at 120 rotations per minute. Okay, but then when I, uh, stop it and go the other way, it'll spin the other way, 360 degrees. Also, the fastest speed, 120 rotations per minute. Somewhere in the middle on your, on your value, on your slider from 0 to 255 or whatever the highest value is, is the stop point. Okay? Now, here's the tilt. This is the tilt rotation speed. You can see it's got a nice gentle rotation speed, but if you, you can get this thing really cranking. All right? I'll let it rip here for a second. All right. Vice versa the other way. And you can hear that thing really wind up. So then you can just have a combination of the two going at the same time. So I'm showing you this in the light so you can see it, okay? I'm going to pause the camera just for a second, and then I'll shut off the lights and kind of show you what it can do. All right, I'm back again. Uh, this is an LCD projection screen up here. I'm just doing it so you can see the colors and patterns really vividly in the dark. Uh, you'll notice, I don't know if you can see where my silhouette is. There's a curvature right here. All that is is my, when I put my new lamp in, there's some adjustment you can do to make sure that you have what's called a hot spot in the center of your image. I haven't done that yet. It can totally be manipulated. You'll make it to where it's all one color. It'll be all white. Uh, it's still not, it's kind of noticeable, it's not too bad. I'm going to trace my finger across it. I don't know if the camera that I have is going to pick that up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to demo through the uh, gobos and the colors, and then uh, I'll show you another shot in a little bit of everything kind of going in action, all right? So first thing I'm going to show you real quick is the uh, gobos. I think it says there's 14 of them on the specs, okay? The first one, if I got the right fader here, First one is a little spot, pretty handy. Uh, if you don't want to blind your guests, but you're trying to highlight the cake, for instance, and you just want a really tight spot on the cake, if you're uh, spotlighting the cake for the cake cutting ceremony, it's pretty handy, so you're not blindsiding grandpa sitting next to it or whatnot. Okay, uh, so there's little spot, then you got five spots, star pattern, uh, polka dots, well, you can see for yourself. There's a ton of them. It's a little out of focus, too. There's a lens in there you can adjust. You just take the housing off. All right? Then this is just scrolling through all of them. It does it at slower speed, fast speed, what have you, okay? Colors. There's a lot of colors on this thing. And there's split colors. That's another cool thing about this is that... Each color, you can make the, the color wheel go in between colors, too. It's kind of handy. Whoop. Let me go back. There's a bunch of colors in here. I don't remember what the specs said. Maybe nine. 
I haven't counted. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. Then you have to scroll in through, the, through all the colors. So then obviously if you know DMX, you can also scroll through the shapes while you're scrolling through colors. Da 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 da. Alright? Then, back it out here. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is I'm just going to put this thing into some uh, motion so you can kind of see in the gym. I'm, by the way, I'm set up probably uh, 30 feet from the screen, and now I've got the camera set at the back of the gym so you can just kind of watch the, the uh, spin head do its thing. I don't have any like cool dance moves like JT, so I probably won't do any dance. And I don't know how well the color is going to show up on this camcorder in the dark. We'll see. It's a little rusty, it looks like. All right. just looks like a knife cutting through the air. It's really sweet. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and increase the speed of the pan. I'll just let this thing rock and roll just a little bit. And it just splatters the broom. Another cool thing too is kind of set it up like a beacon. Change my tilt speed to zero. Or a very gentle spin. And then it'll kind of cascade up down the room gently. See how it cuts low and then it'll cut high again. like a beacon. Now work its way back down. So there you have it. Sweet light. I hate to see it go, but gotta get rid of it. Thanks again. Something else I